This is a tutorial for a design sensitivity study on a simple rectangular beam. So we'll start a simple part, um, just call it beam, press OK, and we'll make sure the units used for the model are going to be consistent, say millimeters, newton seconds, Okay, that, and then we can change the material to um, a grade of steel, let's say low carbon steel. Yes, to get the material properties to be consistent as well. Press OK. So that's uh, low carbon steel in this uh, millimeter newton seconds units. We close that. And uh, the beam is going to be a very simple extrusion on say this plane we can start with a simple uh, center parallelogram something like that and then assign some dimensions to it let's make it say 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters cross section and we'll extrude it a certain distance let's say half a meter so 500 millimeters so that's okay and what we want to do for the simple design study is um, we'll constrain the base of the beam fully and then we'll apply a load at the um, right end of the beam uh, and that load will be say just one ton so 10,000 newtons and instead of applying it on the edge at face will create a, a face by splitting this surface and then apply it on the top surface of the beam. I think that will be an important um, point for um, some design studies to be able to apply um, boundary conditions on certain locations. So to create a, a surface location like that we need to first go to the simulate application because our geometry is essentially complete. So to create the surface region, we can use the regions surface region command here. And that will require a simple um, sketch. So we haven't got a sketch at the moment but we can define one. So if you open references, um, it asks us for a sketch, so we can say define, and we can select the top um, datum plane and sketch on this. And the only thing I need to enter there is simply a line. And that line is going to be, say, from there to there, making it vertical and complete line and we put a distance to it for example from the base of the beam let's make it say 400 millimeters and the length of the line isn't that important but during the design study that length might be important one way because um, if you change the dimension of the beam and if the split doesn't happen for certain dimensions, that can be um, failing the, um, the load application. So let's say OK to that sketch. And what we need to do is it's now asking for a surface. So we've created our sketch, which was a simple line. We need to select a surface and we need to select the top surface. And as you see here, it's split that surface into two by projecting that line onto that surface. So I can OK that. And now this face, which is 20 millimeters by 100 millimeters, is available for, uh, say, surface load application. So I can apply a force there and then say, um, give it a value. Uh, so let's do that. Let's say if you go back to under simulate, go to home, apply force 
and select the face and the force we wanted to apply was uh, 10,000 newtons in the negative y direction so it's minus 10,000 newtons so preview that looks okay and press ok to complete that one thing that's going to be important again is we apply the load as a force and that force is going to be distributed onto the elements underneath that surface um, if you apply the load as a pressure surface if the model during the design sensitivity study changes its width or during an optimization study changes its width that will increase or decrease the load so you have to be careful about how the load was applied and how that's going to be um, affecting the overall behavior of the system so on the right and we have the load on the left end of the beam we want to apply a boundary condition make it fully fixed so i'm choosing a displacement condition and fixing all the translations xyz and that location press ok so that's my loads completed and i'm ready to run my analysis so if i go to analysis i can say file new static analysis and um, i can simply say okay to run it yes run the interactive diagnostics as well and that's running at the moment and that's completed so we can go and check the results if you click on that review results so we can say um, okay and show so that's my simple beam and i can see that the stresses on this beam are very very large so it's not going to be a feasible design at the moment. 3350 megapascals von Mises stress. If it's made out of steel, let's say an average grade of steel, 300 megapascals yield stress, that's 10 times overstressed. And the contours look okay, but the numbers, always check the numbers, and they are too high. We can also check displacements. So we can check the spacements in, say, y direction. Um, and the spacements are shown as quite large as well, 131 millimeters. So that's a very large displacement. But we know that at that sort of stress level, that beam will definitely go into plastic region. So it can't be an elastic beam at that stress level. So this displacement and stresses are not valid. So what we want to find out is how to change the cross-section geometry of this beam so that we achieve um, an acceptable stress level, for example. So let's go and change uh, the model. So close the results window. And then we can go and edit um, the geometry and make it more realistic so let's say we double the the depth of the beam um, so we close that and if we go back to our original sketch the definition and we can change that depth to uh, let's say 40 millimeters would that be sufficient press ok and then we can go to applications again, simulate, and then run the analysis again. So that's going to overwrite the previous analysis. So that's running at the moment. It's finished. We can close that. And let's look at the results again. So look at the results. And then we want to look at um, the for Mises stress. So we have managed to reduce the stress to 838 megapascals by using a deeper beam. So that's cross section 20 millimeters by 40 millimeters now. But, well, how is the stress related to um, the depth? How can we do a design study of that? We can do that 
on a separate analysis system within Creo. We can say no to save and then um, under analysis and studies we can create a new sensitivity design study and um, what we want to do is either define say dimensions from the model or parameters from the model so there might be parameters defined which drive the dimensions so in this case let's try it with the dimension directly so I click on the dimension and if you open up the extrude section we can select that dimension let's say so that's d4 variable currently at 40 millimeters and we know that 40 millimeters was still giving us um, quite high stress level so let's change that from 40 to say 100 millimeters and see what sort of depth of beam will give us a satisfactory stress level so that's okay and there are 10 steps there so from 40 to 100 it's going to create essentially 10 uh, separate analysis and then um, run them step by step and we need to do that with the analysis one the static analysis so press ok to run that um, and click start run yes and if you click this window um, you can look at the study status so it's doing the first step essentially it's created 11 steps altogether so the first step was going to run at 40 millimeter depth of the beam and that will continue up to um, 100 millimeters so the d4 parameter is going from 40 to 100 so it's done step four five seven it's a simple beam and using the basic uh, mesh and we can look at what happened to this model uh, let's say okay d400 and it's managed to calculate um, a few seconds we can go and look at the results now from this study so if you open results it knows that it is a, a design sensitivity study so you can do a graph of a particular measure uh, versus the d4 parameter so let's define what that measure is and there are some predefined measures so one of them here is the maximum von Mises stress so if I select that one and press OK in megapascals maximum von Mises stress will be plotted against design variable d4 which is the depth of the beam OK and show so we can see that that stress at 40 millimeters was just over 800 megapascals and as increasing the um, depth value to say about 50 I'm getting a value just above 500 so still not satisfied mm, say if my yield stress for the steel was 300 megapascals I want to get something uh, let's say two-thirds of that stress as my design um, stress level so 200 megapascals here that's reached just over say 80 millimeters depth so 80 millimeters uh, maybe 82 millimeters so if my beam was essentially about 85 millimeters um, I'm definitely in the safe region for my design stress